Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today I have a robotic vacuum cleaner and if you've been watching my channel for a while you've probably seen the other uh, robotic vacuum cleaner that I had on the channel about three weeks ago. So the other one was called the iLife X5 and it was about $120-$130. Well, the one from today, it's called the iLife V7S and this one is more expensive. It costs around $175. So yeah, about 50 bucks more expensive than uh, the other one. But this one, it's bigger and it does more things than uh, the other one. So if you plan on buying a robotic vacuum cleaner, it's going to depend a lot on the flooring that you have at home because some of them aren't doing that great for carpets. So for example, the old one that I uh, reviewed about three weeks ago, the X5 doesn't do good on carpets at all because we don't have a brush at the bottom. With this one, with the V7S, we actually have a brush at the bottom. So this is very important for carpets because it can actually clean the carpets better. The other one, the old one, has only two rotating brushes on the sides that basically throw the garbage towards the suction uh, of the vacuum. With this one, whatever there is on the carpet gets sucked uh, whenever that brush moves it. So something like this would be much, much better for carpets. Another thing you should consider while buying a robotic vacuum are replacement parts, if we can call them replacement parts. So for example, the brush, uh, some filters and stuff like that. Because if you don't order them in the same time with your vacuum, then you're going to order them a month uh, from now and then you're going to have to wait like another month to actually get them. So for example, my X5, I kind of need replacement brushes already. And now if I'm going to order them uh, before Christmas, who knows when uh, they'll uh, be here. So keep that in mind and search for uh, whatever replacement parts are uh, available for that particular vacuum that you choose to buy. So the V7S comes in this box right here. It's a rather large box. Uh, we basically have a picture of the vacuum uh, on both sides. And here's some specifications and uh, the model number. Inside the box, you're going to find a vacuum cleaner. You're going to find one of these blue water containers. So yes, this uh, vacuum cleaner can also mop. You're going to find two of these mopping pads. Uh, they're blue and they basically stick on this uh, plastic pad that uh, connects to the back of the vacuum. So that's going to cover the rotating brush whenever you're uh, having the vacuum cleaner start mopping. Aside from that, we are going to find the remote control, the user manual that's in English. You're going to find the charging base. So yes, this uh, vacuum can go and charge itself uh, whenever uh, it runs out of battery. And since we are talking about the battery, we have a 2600 milliamp battery and the vacuum cleaner will be able to do about two hours of work um, before it uh, runs out of battery. So that's a lot of time for any house. For example, in my house uh, downstairs, uh, the vacuum cleaner can actually finish in about half an hour. So on one charge, I can basically clean the house uh, four times. But everybody has different uh, houses, like bigger houses. So it's going to be different uh, for everybody's uh, setup. So aside from that, we are going to find the power adapter and um, you can actually plug in the power adapter right into the robotic vacuum cleaner. So you don't always have to charge it uh, with a charging base. You're going to find two replacement filters. And that's why I said uh, before, make sure that you order some more uh, replacement filters. You're also going to find the replacement brush. So the little brush that you see on the side. Uh, of the robotic vacuum cleaner and another brush uh, that you're going to use for cleaning the vacuum uh, whenever you have to clean it. Now the vacuum itself. So it is made out of plastic. We do have uh, some wheels at the bottom, but on top here uh, it's all clean. We don't have a display. We don't have anything. We have a LED right here where it says clean and this um, LED light basically lights up different colors depending on what's happening uh, with the vacuum. So for example, uh, when it's cleaning that uh, LED light is going to be green. If the vacuum is running uh, low on battery, it's going to be red or orange. And uh, if it's charging, it's actually going to be orange that like turns off, on and so on. If there is like an error or something and the vacuum doesn't know what to do or there is something wrong with it, that light is going to be red. And on top here, we actually get uh, the place where we uh, take out the garbage, basically. So this is uh, where the garbage collects. And I would say that every half an hour or so, you're going to have to empty this out because it does get uh, full. So the vacuum does vacuum a lot of stuff. 
but if you do vacuum basically every second day or so it's not as bad because uh, if it constantly goes uh, everywhere it's not gonna be that bad in the house so you can probably go for like an hour an hour and a half before you actually have to empty this on the front we have a whole bunch of sensors and it's the same on the back and there is some type of rubber here so whenever the vacuum hits something it doesn't actually damage it. So the vacuum is not gonna go ahead and uh, hit the wall because uh, it's gonna be able to see the wall uh, through these sensors but for example like the chair uh, legs for example something like that uh, it's not actually gonna see with that so it's gonna hit uh, that particular uh, little object so whenever uh, he hits something this uh, part from the front here actually moves I'm not sure if you can actually see that but as soon as uh, he hits something and that uh, gets pushed in it's gonna stop and turn around and I'm gonna show you a couple of examples now um, what happens when the vacuum actually hits something so you're gonna see that it like turns around and uh, tries to like escape uh, that place wherever uh, it got stuck underneath we also have some sensors here um, so the vacuum doesn't actually fall from the stairs and I was a bit paranoid uh, with the first one uh, thinking that it's gonna fall down the stairs whenever it hits the stairs but no um, it actually knows whenever uh, it's gonna be over the edge so it stops like right there so it's not gonna actually fall from the stairs or uh, whatever you may have in the house there so yeah that's uh, what these sensors uh, are so the vacuum knows uh, whenever to stop Aside from that we have the charging uh, connectors right here, we have a little uh, wheel there, we have this brush that basically pushes the dirt towards uh, that rotating uh, wheel in the middle. So that rotating wheel in the middle will get a lot of hair in it, so you're gonna have to take it out every now and then and clean it, because otherwise it's just gonna get stuck with hair and uh, it's not gonna work good. So uh, that uh, can be taken out and actually you can buy another one and uh, just replace that one. And uh, we do have two rubber uh, wheels that will uh, basically help the vacuum move around the house. And aside from that, uh, you're just going to see the power on off uh, button. So that's about it at the bottom of the vacuum. So whenever you want to use the vacuum uh, for mopping, for example, you're going to have to get that plastic uh, part and mount that on the bottom of the vacuum. It's done very, very easily. All you have to do is push on it. After that, you get one of those blue pads. Uh, you stick it on that and you have to change that container uh, inside the vacuum. So you're gonna remove the container for garbage basically and you're gonna put the other uh, container for water. You can fill up uh, that container with about 450 milliliters um, of water, so a lot of water. Now the floor is not gonna get that wet. I was actually expecting that the floor would get uh, much uh, wetter, but it doesn't get that wet. So I was actually able to leave the vacuum on my hardwood floors um, and everything seemed uh, to be okay. However, uh, the thing is, um, whenever you're mopping, the vacuum it's not gonna know if it's gonna go on the carpet or not. So basically when you use the mopping function, you're gonna have to stay with him because you don't really want uh, the vacuum to go on your carpets and uh, get your carpets wet. So yeah, I wish to have had some type of sensors um, to know wherever uh, it cannot go, like the carpets uh, when it's mopping. But yeah, you will definitely have to stay with it uh, whenever uh, it's mopping the floor. So whenever the vacuum is cleaning, it's not that loud, but you're gonna hear whenever the vacuum bumps into objects that uh, it doesn't see. So for example, uh, what I noticed, it's uh, gonna hit all the chairs that you have around the house. So the legs of the chairs are gonna be hit by the vacuum and you're gonna hear that um, if you just uh, stay at home and uh, you're like relaxing there and the vacuum is cleaning, you're gonna hear bump 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 so yeah that's uh, what happens uh, with the legs basically everything else uh, the vacuum seems to be able to see before uh, it hits and it doesn't actually hit it it like stops right next to it so we have um, a couple of cleaning functions so the vacuum can clean by itself you can set the vacuum to start cleaning at a certain hour and this is great uh, if you go to work uh, and stuff like that you're just gonna have the vacuum clean uh, whenever you're not home you have a spot cleaning, so let's say you spilled something on the floor and you need a vacuum uh, to clean that, so you can direct uh, the vacuum with the remote control to that spot and then just press that button and then the vacuum is going to start spinning in one uh, spot. So that's a useful feature. 
and we also have a edge cleaning mode so basically the vacuum will go around the house like at the edges of the walls so it's gonna just go around and around and around now you're gonna find the, some dirt around the corners of uh, the rooms because the vacuum cannot get in there uh, no matter what because it's round and the corners are at a 90 degree angle so you will find some dirt uh, in the corners but I believe that all of these uh, robotic vacuums have the exact same issue and it's time to conclude this video so if you have carpets at home uh, this is much much better than that um, x5 that i reviewed a few weeks ago because that brush at the bottom it's actually cleaning those uh, carpets much faster with the other one that doesn't have a brush at the bottom uh, it takes like forever to actually clean the carpets so it goes over and over the carpets and nothing happens but this one the v7s uh, does really really good on carpets I did notice that uh, it got stuck a couple of times uh, on carpets actually so wherever the corner of the carpet is uh, it kind of goes in underneath the vacuum somehow and the vacuum gets stuck and cannot um, get out but if you do use it a couple of times uh, when you're home you're gonna notice all the spots uh, where this vacuum could potentially get stuck so just move stuff around so you have something sitting in that spot so whenever you're not uh, home the vacuum doesn't uh, get stuck there other than that's an awesome awesome thing you don't actually have to vacuum your house uh, ever again you can just have the vacuum uh, basically start by itself whenever you go to work or uh, whenever you're not home so you don't hear the bumping and the noises and um, yeah it's definitely gonna help you in my house it's much much cleaner since i've had these two robotic vacuums if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below um, if you did like this video press that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching